Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm literally so excited to say that because this is literally like our second video in our channel, but I just cannot wait for you to see this one. This is by far my most favorite um, DIY that I've done so far. And it's so exciting because we actually played with wallpaper, which I've never done before. And we played with lighting, which we've never done before. So we've done so many things in this little tiny half bath or powder room that we have in our house. And again, it's all under budget. So I just, honestly, I absolutely love this bathroom and I just cannot wait to show you. So without further ado, take a look at what we have done. So really quick, I wanted to show you what the bathroom looked like right before we actually started doing anything in here. The walls were white, but with a yellow undertone. And we actually had attempted to remodel this bathroom once before. So we went from like a yellowish wood tone to what it looks like now. So the first thing we started doing right away is just getting um, the doors off the cabinet or the vanity and um, putting all those little hardware and screws into a Ziploc bag. We started sanding the whole vanity to make sure that all the imperfections, the paint lumps or anything that it might have had was all nicely and smooth out so we can go ahead and start priming. Now we highly recommend that you really really thoroughly clean everything before you start the priming process because then my roller started picking up things that it was not supposed to pick up. So we made sure we cleaned it and then we started priming. Uh, at this point I had even thought about painting the cabinets white and actually doing the countertop like a DIY countertop on here. I thought about cement and then there's some stuff some DIYs that you can do with countertops, but once I thought really hard about what I actually what design I wanted to go with I decided you know what let's just go ahead and paint them black and I actually decided to do the tricorn black but I did it with or I changed my paint from cabinet paint to chalk paint and I did my own paint so I can show you guys how I did that in another video or I can let you know in the comment box below. Once that was all said and done, I started by painting my walls a nice, fresh white with no yellow undertone and you can already see the difference. On here, we also changed the recess lighting to bright white lights rather than the typical yellow looking light that we normally have. And once we were done with all of that, we started work working on the wallpaper. Now the wallpaper, I was so excited because I've never done that before. And Fernando was like, uh, you're crazy. Why are you gonna do wallpaper? That's like in the 70s, right? Well, wallpaper is back. And this wallpaper was so nice. You can do it two ways. I, I even thought about doing it as a stencil, like try stenciling the wall. But then I was like, no, I love this wallpaper. Let me just try this. And if I don't like this, then I'll just take it off. So really quickly to make the wallpaper, the adhesive of the wallpaper actually start working, you have to make sure you wet the adhesive side of the wallpaper. So this is why I was putting this plastic over my floor to make sure I didn't damage any of my floors. And as you can tell, I have my little helpers, including my pets, putting little dust particles all over my wallpaper. Um, but nothing a little tip of your finger can't remove. Once I had the water, you have to make sure you put enough water to make sure that the wallpaper adhesive actually starts working. You can just start installing it. So they usually tell you to make sure you have like a laser labeler, which you kind of get a glimpse out of it right there. Um, that way you make sure you're putting everything straight and everything is as straight as possible. Um, I really wanted to show you the details of what the wallpaper is what installing the wallpaper is like. Um, going around the window was super easy, to be honest with you. It's actually like putting a sticker on, so I had so much fun doing this. Um, the hardest part though, I must say, was not so much going around the vanity, because as you can tell, I had already cut out the plug section and I was cutting around the vanity. I got this tool, it came in a packet at Lowe's, so I really recommend you get this. There's also a roll paper roller that helps you smooth out the wallpaper and you can actually purchase that and it avoids getting any 
um, air bubbles in your wallpaper but this really worked for me and I mean I used it throughout I was using it for cutting and I was using it to smooth out the wallpaper and it was not damaging the wallpaper which is um, the main reason why you should get the roller but by all means get the roller you know if it makes your wallpaper adhere better I guess it will also depend on the type of texture you have on your wall so just follow instructions it's all on that um, the back of the roll paper packaging so this is the hard part they usually recommend that you remove both the toilet and the toilet hose that is right there that I'm trying to work on so what I did here is I didn't put too much water product on the wallpaper so I can work on it as smoothly as I possibly could and then once I got the cuts done I actually went ahead and sprayed it with more water that way it would adhere it turned out to it turned out wonderful I mean it looks really really good so it worked for me um, and I really didn't want to remove a toilet that is a messy job so we decided let's just work around it here you can see me just putting a little bit more water, smoothing out the wallpaper, and working on my last edge. And this was so satisfying to do. Like I absolutely love the wall once I was done installing this wallpaper. So this is where we start adding the finishing touches, which is where we're gonna put decor around the walls. And this wall was a little tricky because it's a very big wall when the door is closed. But if the door is open, then I can't really have the floating shelves that I originally wanted to put on there because they just look awkward. So I ended up opting for this little shelving unit, which is, I thought was so cute and I got it for so cheap at Home Goods. Was it Home Goods? No, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was Home Goods. Or Hobby Lobby. Yeah, it was Hobby Lobby where I got it for. I got it 50% off, so not bad. And um, at the end, we just ended up finishing up all our painting details that we had. And we started by installing our mirror. So quick thing about the mirror. Fernando originally did not want to remove the mirror that we had on the wall because we had no idea how to do it. And we were just so afraid that we were gonna make holes on the wall. But thankfully, that was not the case. I was able to sand out and, and actually with a painter's knife, I think, or spatula, I ended up scraping all the glue adhesive that they had originally used for the mirror that we had before. And it turned out to be really smooth. It worked, we painted over it. And now I have the beautiful mirror that I wanted to have in the first place. Doesn't that look so cute? I think it looks so cute. And here it is. This is my favorite part. This is where we get to show you all the last little details. Which is just, you know, bringing the whole room together with all this decor. A lot of these items I already had them on hand because I had purchased them before. But a lot of them, again, they're from um, Target and home goods and Amazon and even Ikea. Ikea comes through every single time. But yes. Again, I can't not get enough of these towels. How cute is that little plant and that hand towel? They're so adorable. I just absolutely love the Magnolia Homes line at Target. It's so inexpensive and it's so cute. Look at that towel, so classy. And lastly, I have my little plant down there with my little basket. I got that basket for like $7 at Hobby Lobby. You can't beat that price. Just can't. And the plant's also from Hobby Lobby. And I got it 50% off. So, not bad. So here you have it. I hope you enjoy this. But wait, I do have one thing I wanted to talk to you about really quick. It's our light fixture. We actually did that. It's a total DIY as well. I, ha I got the bulb, uh, it's an Edison bulb. We got that at Target and the rest of the stuff is from Ikea. It was so cheap to create this. So yeah guys, there you have it. I really hope you like it. Enjoy the before and afters.
So what did you think? Do you like it or not? I love asking that question because I love getting ideas from you. So if you have any suggestions or if you did like it, make sure you put it on the comment box below. I would love to hear what you think. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell and follow us on all our social media so you can keep up with us and know what we're up to every single day. Because just as a reminder, this channel is not just gonna be DIYs, it's just that I'm focusing a lot on them right now. But we are gonna have a lot of family and fashion and beauty and I just cannot wait to show you everything that we're working on for you. So hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I hope you have a wonderful day.